temperatures were close to 70 degrees here around Denver. We actually hit 70 in Fort Collins and 71 for Sterling with 77 degrees in Ray. Feeling like spring out there instead of winter. And that is what we're going to experience here in the next 24 to 48 hours. Big change in our forecast tonight, though. Very quiet. If you're out at lighted lights or temperatures in the 50s here through 7 o'clock, 40s after that. So a nice cool evening for us, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Now the snow is going to begin tomorrow night as our temperatures drop down into the teens. It will be heavier to the west of the metro and we're expecting about two to four inches around Denver, but then higher amounts just off to the west out toward Golden and Evergreen. We have winter storm warnings and advisories in effect for the metro area for this storm. So today we hit 68 degrees. It's absolutely gorgeous out there now. 74 our record high set back in 1998 and on average we should only be around 50 degrees this time of year. We're still at 61 downtown, 56 at DIA and our winds about seven miles an hour at this point. So for Colorado and the surrounding states, it's nice and dry and quiet. All of these watches and warnings are in anticipation of all that moisture coming down from our north and west and bringing in that snowfall for the states around Colorado, including ours. Now tonight it will be nice and quiet. We'll see a few high clouds passing through. Overnight lows will be in the 20s and 30s here for the plains. We'll have teens up toward Leadville, 15 in Gunnison and 20s toward Durango and into Pagosa Springs. But right here around the metro area, mostly 20s for those overnight lows and a few 30s up toward Boulder and Longmont. Our Mile High United Way turkey trot tomorrow morning will start out at 30 degrees at 7 a.m. We'll see some clouds and it'll be slow to warm up to about 39 degrees by 11 a.m. And it will be cooler. So instead of 60s that we experienced today, we'll be in the low 40s tomorrow and we'll see some light snow develop off to the west. This will be closer to 6 o'clock in the evening when we really start to see the snow take over into the foothills and the metro area. Winter weather advisories here from Sterling all the way back toward Gunnison, and it does include part of the Denver area. Winter storm watch for the eastern plains and winter storm warning for the western part of metro Denver up toward Lakewood and into Golden, Wheat Ridge, and Arvada, all the way up toward Jamestown, Boulder, into Berthoud, and Longmont. So this is where the heavier snow is going to be, west of I-25. East of I-25, lighter amounts. We're looking at about two to four inches, but then about five to 10 here in the pink shaded areas just to our west. So be prepared if you're traveling for Thanksgiving, either tomorrow night or early on Friday, we're going to not only be pretty cold, but we're going to have that snowfall on the ground. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s for the mountains tomorrow. And as that future cast goes through on Friday, a few flurries here for our area as we go through our day. We'll have cloudy, cool conditions here for the Front Range, breezy and cold into the evening with more snow off to our west. Our super seven day forecast keeping us in the 20s on Friday, overnight low of 10, 32 on Saturday, 37 on Sunday, and then those 40s return into next week.